Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMummy.com and today I want to share with you how to make overnight oats. I know I'm about four years behind on this food trend, but have you ever tried to make overnight oats? It's so easy and the resulting breakfast is nutritious, tasty, quick and oh so customizable. It is definitely my current favorite breakfast. So today I want to show you how to make overnight oats using my favorite recipe and a couple of variations. You can eat these cold or heat them up in the microwave, but I like to eat them cold with my favorite fruit, yogurt, and nuts on top. I think it's a great way to enjoy oats in the spring and summer months. Here's how to make them. In a mason jar or a plastic container, it's totally up to you. Mix together a half a cup of large flake old fashioned oats or quick oats if you're in a pinch, chia seeds, so I use about two tablespoons of chia seeds, and two thirds of a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You can use whatever milk you like, I just like unsweetened vanilla almond milk because of the taste and because it has no added sugar. Then cover your container and shake everything really well together, and then all you have to do is pop it in the refrigerator overnight or for at least six hours for the oats to soften. In the morning, just remove the oats from the refrigerator. You can heat them up in the microwave if you desire or leave them cold and then top them with your favorite toppings. So a couple of my favorites are this nut berry one. I really like this one, so I just add some raspberries, some blackberries, some slivered almonds, and some just plain Greek yogurt. And then I drivel some agave syrup on top. It's very low on the glycemic index, so it doesn't have lots of sugar in it. And this is a really great healthy way to enjoy oatmeal in the morning. The second variation I love is a more tropical version. And for this one, I just top my oats with mango, kiwi, unsweetened coconut, Greek yogurt, and I also mix in a bit of mashed banana to sweeten this. So rather than topping it off with syrup, I mix the mashed banana right into the oatmeal to give it a really nice, sweet, tropical taste. I like to keep these refined sugar free just by sweetening them with natural syrups or fruit. And I really love that they're still really flavorful, but they don't have any added refined sugar in them. They're also full of nutrients, so really healthy fats and really healthy carbs. So they really keep me full all day long. And that is my favorite recipe to make overnight oats. If you've made overnight oats before, I'd love to hear how you make them in the comments below, how you prepare them and how you top them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Mm -hmm.